May I proceed? You may. Your Honor, opposing counsel, members of the jury, may it please the court. Accidents happen. With that being said, August 18, 2010 was the pinnacle of accidents in Jesse Duran's life. Now, the day started out just as every other day after the families. Hayden and Andy Park both woke up with the intentions of going to work that day. Jesse woke up excited, excited to go to her best friend's house, Sydney Park. Although she was excited for another reason. Prior to August 18, Sydney had notified Jesse that there was a gun in the house and that it was, might be possible that they could play with it. Now, eventually, Hayden took, Hayden took Jesse over to the Park's home. And she was notified that their normal babysitter, Danny Brooks, would not be there. Now, this meant that the two children would be without adult supervision for the day. And this also meant that the children would rule the house for that day. Now, once Andy Park and Hayden Duran left, Jesse and Sydney went straight for the safe. Now, they did everything together, as they, as they have always had. They were best friends. And, they had, and prior to August 18, Sydney had told Jesse had found out the combination to the safe. Now, Sydney read the combination to Jesse, and Jesse put in the combination. They did this together. They pulled out the gun. Sydney opened the chamber. Jesse loaded the gun. They did this all together. After opening the safe and retrieving the gun, they figured they would play with the gun. So they ran up, ran throughout the house, simulating the video games that they had played together, shooting at, pretending to shoot at inanimate objects as if they were dangerous, as if they were criminals. And the game ended when Sydney pointed the gun at Jesse. Jesse was not abused, and reality set in. After that, they made their way into the living room. Sydney still had control of the gun. They decided that they would turn on some cartoons. Eventually, Jesse got bored and asked Sydney if he could see the gun. Sydney, not knowing that Sydney would actually pass the gun over to Jesse, Sydney flung the gun to Jesse. And in the process of Sydney flinging the gun to Jesse, Jesse reached out, and the gun was discharged as it hit Jesse's hand, fatally wounding Sydney Park. Now, Jesse didn't mean for any of this to happen. It was all an accident. And she was so stunned that her best friend had been had been shot right in front of her eyes. Now, the plaintiff bears the burden of proof by preponderance of evidence that Hayden Duran is negligent, has been negligent for a parent. And they have to prove that Hayden failed to admonish Jesse and reprimand Jesse for past violent actions regarding a firearm or inappropriate behavior, that Hayden failed to notify the plaintiff of Jesse's past violent behavior, that he didn't also fail to ensure that Jesse was supervised with Sydney. And that he didn't fail to elicit into Jesse's head, to instill into Jesse's head that guns were dangerous and that they were inappropriate. Now they will fail to meet this burden by the, evidence, by the witnesses that we will call before you. Jesse Drain will come up before you to tell you that Sydney and her were best friends. They did everything together. As soon as school ended, they would go to each other's house and play video games and run through the yards, and they did everything together. Next, Dr. Ashley Rosa will come before you. He'll come before you to explain to you how easily accessible the combination was to this safe, and how easily accessible the safe was to Sydney and Jesse. <laughs> Lastly, Hayden will come before you to reiterate that Jesse and Sydney grew up together. They knew each other. They were best friends. Jesse, Jesse brought out the best in Sydney. At the end of trial today, my co-counsel, Ross Grillo, will come before you. And he will tell you, and he will, he will tell you why the plaintiff did not meet their burden. He will tell you that the lack that easy accessible combination and the easily accessible safe were conducive to this accident. And this is why you should not find Hayden Drain liable for negligent parenting. Thank you.